Hello everyone, I'm excited to come in the car Apache Konesha. My name is Chang Zhao. You can call me Madison. And um, currently, I'm a software engineer at Stream Native. Also, I'm an Apache committer and MOP maintainer. In today's presentation, I want to share some topics. We can look at this overview. The first one is what is MOP and how does it work? And the second one is what are new features in MQTT5? And how does the MOP support it? The final one is why do we use MQTT5? What is MOP? MOP, the full name is MQTT Protocol Handler on POSA. That is an Apache POSA protocol handler that helps POSA have the ability to support MQTT protocol natively. You can look at this diagram. The MQTT client can use it to communicate with the POSA broker directly. So how does POSA support the MQTT protocol? We can find clues in POSA PIPs the PIP means POSA Improvement Proposal. According to the description of PIP 41, that introduced a mechanism for dynamically loading additional protocols. Now, some protocols have been implemented through this mechanism, such as KOP, Kafka Protocol on POSA, MOP, MQTT Protocol on POSA, AOP, AMQP protocol on POSA, etc. If you want to implement a protocol yourself, you just need to implement the protocol handler interface to write your own protocol handler. Then package the program into the null package and configure it on the broker. For example, in the MOP, we configure the message protocol as MQTT and specify the directory of the null package and specify the listening port for the protocol. Then when the broker starts, it can automatically load the MQTT protocol handler. If you are interested in this part, please see PIP41 for details. According to this picture, we can know how the protocol handler works. It will call POSA's internal API to support message store, publishing, and consuming. Native support enables MOP to achieve high performance and high availability like POSA. Next, I will briefly introduce how MOP implements the publishing and receiving of MQTT messages through protocol handlers. In the publishing process, the MQTT client will send a message to the MOP. In the current time, the connect operation has been completed. Then the MOP will pass the MQTT message and hand it over the internal processor. The processor will find the topic by the topic name and then convert an MQTT message to the message format stored by the POSA. When the publish operation is successful, the public response will be sent to the MQTT client through the callback. In this way, a simple sending process is over. The next step is the conception process. This process is a bit more complicated than publishing. When the MQTT client sends a subscription request, MOP will pause the request and find the subscription corresponding to the client. If the subscription does not exist, we will create a new one. Then create an internal MQTT consumer that saves some current consumer state and subscribe rate to the corresponding subscription. 
After the subscription is successful, the MOP will send a sub ache to the client. After this, the MQTT consumer in the MOP will receive the message through the dispatcher inside POSA. When a new message is received, MOP will convert the POSA message format to the MQTT publish format and send it to the client. At the end of this section, I will introduce a new component in MOP, that is MOP proxy. Since POSA, topics are distributed across different brokers in the cluster, while the MQTT protocol does not support redirect semantics, and MQTT supports one socket for wet card subscription. Therefore, we need an intermediate layer to help the client to do the topic lookup and multi-topic subscription. Now, now we have briefly introduced MOP. We will introduce MQTT5 protocol in some of its new features. From this slide, we can witness the release history of the MQTT protocol. The MQTT protocol was originally invented by IBM in the 1990s. MQTT was initially used for data transmission between sensors in oil pipeline and satellites. MQTT version 3.1.1 was officially released in October 2014. At the same time, version 3.1.1 has become the OSIS protocol standard. That is, 3.1.1 has become upgraded to the international IoT standard. Just as HTTP paved the way for people to share information over the web, MQTT standardization could connect billions of low-cost IoT devices to the web. MQTT 5.0 was officially released in May 2018. In March, 2019, version 5 come the new OEC standard. Version 5 had made major change on the basis of version 3.1.1, and it's not backward compatible. Obviously, there are too many new things to be introduced, and all existing implementation need to be re-implemented. The version 5 has this time in the most important protocol upgraded since version 3.1.1 in 2014. The new proposal, a new protocol, can adapt to the new needs of the industry development in recent years, and also prepare the protocol for the future development of the Internet of Things industry. Um, we have briefly introduced the history of MQTT. Next. We will introduce some of the more important changes in MQTT5. The first new feature is key value user properties, which allow users to customize some key value pair similar to the headers of HTTP protocol. Users can flexibly extend the MQTT protocol through this feature. For example, in some use cases, message need to be routed to different directions. Some need to be displayed and some need to be stored. At this point, we can set an property to the user properties. The key is string root and the value is di displayed or stored. The subscriber will then differentiate the next action based on the properties of the root. Or in some other user case, we need to set different message format for each message. Uh, some devices and content in JSON format, while other in XM format. We can set the key to format and the value to JSON or XML for user property in this way. 
the subscriber can decide how to pause the message according to the format. So how does MOP achieve this future? First of all, we need to thank the powerful POSA because the POSA message itself support customer, customer properties. Therefore, we can easily pass the properties of MQTT and assign them to the message of the POSA. When the message is received, all properties are paused from the POSA message and then constructed as a MQTT message and sent to the client. Okay. In the MQTT 3.1.1 protocol, the clean session feature is clean session for MQTT clients that have temporary connections or don't subscribe to message at all. When connecting to the broker, the client must choose to send a connect package with the clean session flag enabled or disabled. For the clean session, the MQTT client indicates that the broker should discard any data from the client. As soon as uh, the underlying TCP connection is broken or the client dedicated to disconnect from the broker. Additionally, the clean session connect package forces the broker to delete previous data if there are the previous session on the broker associated with the client identified. In MQTT5, that introduces new features, clean start and express session info. Clients can choose to use clean start, clean start flag and connect message. When this flag is used, the broker discards any previous session data and the client starts with a new session. After the TCP connection between the client and the server is closed, the session will be uh, not automatically clear. If you want the client to disconnect and trigger the deletion of the session, you can set the session expert interval of the connect message. It specifies how long to delay deleting session data when the connection is disconnected. If the value is zero, delete it immediately. If set to the maximum, uh, if set the maximum value of the unsigned integer, the session will never expire. The new clean start and the session expert interval features simplify session handling for MQTT as it's more flexible and easier to implement than the clean session persistent session concept. With MQTT5, all sessions are persistent unless the session expert interval is zero. Deletion of the session occur after the timeout or when the client reconnects using clean start. In MOP, each connection has a connection object that is responsible for storing all state associated with the connection. For clean start support, when the client uh, sets clean start to true, when connect, MOP will find the current state according to the client ID. If the state exists, it will first perform the clean up work and then create a new connection. If clean start is false, MOP will reuse the previous state. The session expert time expert interval. The value will be stored when the client perform connect. When a socket is disconnected, MOP will reject the clean up task with the timer to clean up the re uh, related session. The next feature is topic allies, which is mainly to reduce the size of the publishing package because in real environment, we may have a particularly long topic name due to the complexity of the business. This feature allows the client and the broker to agree to use an int value instead of a topic name. We can look at this picture. 
in the first publish message, the client will send a topic name along with topic allies to the broker. The client will only carry the topic allies when sending the following message. The broker can find the relevant topic for message storage based on the consensus featured on the previous statement. In MLP, we store the associated allies and topics mapped to achieve this feature. When the first message arrives at the MLP, it will map the topic allies and topic name. When it is detected that the following message carried the topic allies, it will directly go to the mapping table to find the corresponding topic name. The next feature introduced is the enhanced authentication. In the previous MQTT protocol, we can only prefer basic authentication through the username and password, or use token to fill in password. The enhanced authentication of MQTT5 introduced a new mechanism that provides authentication method and authentication data. To specify the method and the re re related authentication data. Plus, it also introduced a new MQTT pocket, auth pocket. You, this pocket can support mutual authentication between the broker or client at any time. And this will allow you to implement authentication standards such as um, sorted challenge. Uh, responsible response authentication mechanism, SCRAM, or Kerber protocol. Mm, the last MQTT feature is a recent code. The recent code indicates that a predefined protocol error occurred. These recent codes are usually carried in acknowledgement packages and allow clients and brokers to interpret, to interpret error conditions and possibly resolve them. The next part is why we need to use MQTT5. We are already using MQTT 3.1.1 extensively. Why should we use MQTT5? The first benefit is better error handling for more robust systems. To create a more robust system, MQTT5 has a number of new features to improve error checking between clients and brokers. The new session and the message expiration feature allow you to set time limit for each message and session. If a message is not delivered within the predefined time period, the message will be deleted. For example, let's say you send an MQTT message to start a safety critical machine on your factory floor. You can set message to be automatically deleted if they do not arrive within a certain period of time. This ensures that messages are only delivered during the time period when it's safe to start the machine and are never delayed due to network delay or outages. The second benefit is more scalability for cloud native computing. MQTT5 standardization the concept of shared subscription. Shared subscription allow multi MQTT client instance to share the same subscription on the broker. This feature enables load balancing of MQTT clients deployed on cloud clusters. This is useful when you use an MQTT client to store and forward MQTT messages to backend enterprises system such as databases or enterprises service buses. Topic allies are another useful addition to the MQTT5 is a specification. For large systems with complex 
topic structures. Topic string can become very long. If you have thousands of millions of devices transmitting billions of messages, the very long subject string plays higher demands on the network. To provide greater efficiency and better performance on very large system, topic allies allow you to replace topic string with integers. The another benefit is greater flexibility and easier integration. MQTT5 introduces user properties, which add key value properties to the message properties of MQTT messages. These properties allow you to add application-specific specific information to each message that can be used to process the message. For example, adding routing information to the properties of MQTT message will help consumers decide whether, um, whether the message needs to be displayed or stored without requiring additional complex mechanism. To make it easier for consumers to process messages, payload format indicators, including map style content types, have been added to MQTT version 5. These format descriptions are useful for a wide range of use cases. For example, a control system for a toll road might uh, send a picture of a license plate and that need to be processed by image, image recognized software, where other message might include location coordinates that need to be processed differently. Let's try MQTT 5 together. And thanks for watching.